Black cats have had an undeserved bad reputation for far too long. I'm Coffee Cat and I'd like to shatter the myths and legends which cause this. Here are some interesting facts about black cats. Black is actually the most common coat color for domestic cats. The gene for black fur is dominant, so a cat only needs to inherit one copy of the gene to be black, so there's a lot of them around. Despite being common, black cats are less likely to be adopted from shelters due to lingering superstitions about them bringing bad luck. This phenomenon is known as black cat bias. I think this is a terribly sad myth and as a cat I find that bias to be a shallow and misunderstood, superstitious nonsense. Look at me, getting all upset about this. Truthfully, while many breeds can have quite solid black coats, the Bombay is the only breed genetically designed to be exclusively black. It was created in the 1950s by crossing sable Burmese and black American short hairs to resemble a miniature black panther. In addition to this, contrary to superstition, black cats were actually considered good luck by sailors in the British Isles. They believed having a black cat on board would ensure a safe voyage. Unfortunately this belief hasn't stuck as well as the superstitions of old. In ancient Egypt, black cats were associated with the goddess Bastet and were considered sacred animals. Killing a cat was strictly prohibited and a black cat with a goddess muse was absolutely revered. Amazingly, the genetic mutation that causes black fur in cats may also provide some protection against certain diseases like HIV. This makes black cats potentially valuable for medical research. Just imagine if a cat could help cure such a terrible disease. I wonder how humans would feel differently then. Most black cats have striking yellow, copper or green eyes due to high melanin pigment levels. This rare eye color in humans is caused by the same pigment. It's a beautiful sight a pair of golden, copper or green eyes, shining from a lovely black cat face. They're almost as good as a ragdoll's awesome blue eyes. While rare, some black cats can rust or change color, developing reddish highlights on their fur from spending too much time in the sun. This is caused by the sun bleaching the pigment in their fur. Humans who spend a lot of time in the sun often have lighter hair, hence the term sun bleached. Just to solidify that black cats are just as wonderful as cats I'd like to point out that many black cats are actually tabbies in disguise. The gene for black fur is dominant, but the tabby pattern gene is also dominant. So a cat can inherit the black fur gene but still carry the tabby pattern gene, resulting in a solid black coat that hides the underlying tabby markings. So, while a black coat is the most dominant color in cats, many black cats are genetically tabbies whose striped pattern is simply masked by the solid black pigment, until exposed to bright sunlight. This makes them effectively tabbies in disguise. There are a few good ways to tell if a black cat is actually a tabby in disguise. They might wonder what on earth you're doing but check these signs out. Look for tabby markings or stripes that are visible in bright sunlight. Many solid black cats carry the tabby gene, and their underlying striped pattern can become visible when their fur is exposed to direct sunlight. This is often referred to as ghost markings. Check for the classic M marking on the forehead. All tabbies, regardless of their coat pattern, have this distinctive M-shaped marking on their forehead between their eyes and ears. If a black cat has this marking, it's a sign they carry the tabby gene. Look at the legs, tail, and face. The tabby markings on a black cat are often most visible on these areas, even in lower lighting conditions. You may see faint stripes or swirling patterns. Consider the coat pattern. If a black cat has a distinct striped, swirled, spotted or ticked pattern, even if very faint, it is a tabby pattern indicating the presence of the tabby gene. Genetics play a role. The gene for solid black color is recessive, while the tabby pattern gene is dominant. 
So most solid black cats are actually tabbies whose striped pattern is masked by the solid black pigment. Looking for ghost markings in sunlight, the M on the forehead, patterns on the extremities, and understanding cat coat genetics can all help reveal if a seemingly solid black cat is genetically a tabby underneath. This adds an interesting layer to black cats, don't you think? Black cats gained a negative reputation in association with bad luck, witchcraft, and evil that dates back centuries, particularly during the Middle Ages in Europe. Here are some main reasons why and how this superstition developed. In ancient times, cats were revered in cultures like Egypt, but as Christianity spread in Europe, pagan symbols like cats became associated with the devil and witchcraft. The mysterious nature of the Egyptians and their multiple gods frightened the people and they took a large step away from anything related to them. In 1233, Pope Gregory IX issued a papal bull condemning satanic cults that he claimed were consorting with Satan as a half-man, half-black cat creature. This helped cement the link between black cats and the devil in the Catholic Church. That's a little far-fetched I think, but humans have had some funny ideas down through time. During the Middle Ages and periods of intense witch hunts, like the Salem Witch Trials, Owning a black cat could be grounds for accusations of witchcraft and persecution. There were beliefs that black cats were witches' familiars or could even transform into witches. I'm quite sure these beliefs weren't the cat's fault. Black cats were, as a result, often sacrificed and killed en masse in medieval Europe out of fear they were instruments of the devil or could bring bad omens like death and plagues. Of course, this bothers me a lot. Four things. The superstition that a black cat crossing your path brings bad luck emerged from these associations with witches, evil, and death omens during this period. I know these are things people, really believed, and some still do, but compared to the reality of black cats just being another colored cat, this sounds a little like a fairy tale. So, the negative reputation of black cats solidified across medieval Europe due to their perceived connections to witchcraft, Satan, and bad omens, fueled by the Catholic Church and intense periods of persecution of suspected witches. This stigma persisted for centuries despite a lack of rational basis. A lot of old ideas and superstitions still linger in human traditions today, and it surprises me. Rationally, I'm sure most of us know this to be true. Black cats are just as much a cat as any other, but you'll often see the images of them at Halloween and in scary stories. It's just a superstition and I wanted to shed some light on it for the sake of the millions of misunderstood black cats out there. They are sleek and beautiful and deserve to beat this reputation. I hope you will agree and love a black cat anytime you meet one. I'll hop down off my soapbox now. Lots of love, Coffee Cat.